Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel for you today. We'll see who comes through. Yes, yes, yes. We are here for you. We are the creators. We are a 12th dimensional collective of non-physical beings and we are here to help. We know how much you have already grown there in your earth experiences and we know that there is much more for you to experience in regards to your growth. We would like to assure you that your growth is inevitable. And we would like to release you from the notion the idea, the belief that your growth has to be hard, difficult, and full of suffering. Sometimes you can look back at an incident, let's call it a trauma in your life, and say, I can see how I grew from that experience. And when you do that, you are served by that reframing of the events. However, you do not want to then develop an expectation that you must suffer in order to grow. You can just as easily grow through a joyous experience you can have a life-altering experience that is very positive and good feeling. And anyone who is operating under the assumption that growth must be painful is 
taking that idea from the collective consciousness because it is a widely held belief amongst humans. You have come to the point now where you can examine all beliefs in order to better understand the creation of your reality. And when you do so, you can recognize that there are many ways for you to grow and expand that do not involve pain and suffering. Perhaps now you can look back at your life and take note of all of those times that you grew through a joyous event or an exciting set of circumstances. Beautiful opportunities come your way and then you take them and you grow from them. You, in fact, grow in leaps and bounds while you are sleeping and traveling through the astral plane. So when we tell you that you have a lot more growing left to do there on Earth, please do not take that to mean that you have awful experience in front of awful experience in front of you. You are welcome to create a joyous journey to the fifth dimension, and we often encourage you to do so when we meet with you in the astral plane. We are happy to encourage you to do so now that we have your attention in the waking state and we encourage you to believe in yourselves as the creators of your reality. No one is choosing the remainder of your path to the fifth dimension for you. We are the creators and we love you very much. Namaste. Many blessings to you and yours. I love you guys. Thanks for watching uh, my video here. Please do subscribe to the YouTube if that's where you're watching and you haven't already uh, subscribed. Um, I have some announcements and, a, and I have a great story to tell you guys. So hang in there for the story through the announcements. 50% uh, off sale still going on now on danielscranton.com, link down below in the description for a session with me where I channel for you. You can get one as short as 20 minutes and they're dirt cheap when you apply the 50% off code love, L-O-V-E, at checkout. Um, still have the pay what you want sale going on. Many, many pay what you want items. I think around 450, although I haven't counted in my store at danielscranton.com slash store. It's danielscranton.com slash session to get one of those private sessions, by the way. Um, and when you are getting uh, something on your phone and you put it in your um, cart and then you click the, you put the love code in and you click apply, you do have to scroll down like this to sometimes see the, the discount has been applied because you, there's so much space that you have to go to get down to where the subtotal slash total is in the cart that some people will enter it and then click apply and then think I'm still looking at the same price, but you're looking at the original price, not the discounted price. So you have to scroll. 
Um, let's see. In addition to those two things, advanced group channeling class on the 21st, danielscranton.com slash learn. That's two hours. That's with the Arcturian Council doing all the teaching. Anyone can join that one if you feel up to it. They're going to ask you to channel a lot in those two hours. Um, and then my first ever pay what you want for a group event is coming up on the 24th. It's a satsang and guided group meditation at danielscranton.com slash satsang. That's S-A-T-S-A-N-G. That's how that's spelled. There'll be a minimum price of that um, for that event, but it will be very, very, very low. Um, okay, um, so here's my story. So I'm picking my wife and daughter up at the mall because uh, I had dropped them off there, went to the dentist, came back to get them. I was parking and I found a spot and I'm getting ready to get in the spot and I hear a thump and I thought, uh-oh, that was my side view mirror and I looked and I just passed a big Toyota Land Cruiser with one of those external spare tires on the back of the car. And it was encased in um, white, like a white pla hard plastic or metal. Maybe it's metal, I don't know. But um, I got out of the car, I went over, I looked at it. I could see a small black line and I went over to the side view mirror just to make sure. There was some white paint that I was able to just flick off with my thumb. So I thought, well, what should I do? There are some other marks here on the car. Maybe they wouldn't care. I decide to write a note. I write the note. Hey, this is my name. This is my number. This is what happened. Call me, tell me what the damage is and I'll pay you. And I went in, I found wife and daughter. I came out with them. I'm telling my wife the story. And I look over and she's like, oh, they're in the car right now. So I walk over. I didn't want to startle the guy who's trying to read the note. He's an, he's an older guy. He's trying to read it. And I don't want to knock on his window and scare the crap out of him. So I'm just standing there waiting, got kind of trying to get his attention. Finally, I do. And um, I show him. I'm like, come, come with me. And he's obviously a super sweet guy. And he's looking at it and he goes, oh, I'll just put some polish on that, some wax or polish and buff it out, he says. And I said, oh, okay, great, thank you. And he, I think he put his hand on my shoulder or I put his, my hand on his shoulder or something. I thanked him. He, he was thanking me for being honest and I went home feeling really good about a situation that I could have felt really bad about. I could have felt a lot of guilt if I didn't leave a note for, it was a beautiful car, beautiful white, um, Land Cruiser or, or something, Toyota SUV. And um, so later when we got home, I saw I had a voicemail. So I checked my voicemail and it's him. And he called me up and he goes, I just want to let you know, I put the wax on. It's totally gone. You can't see a thing. Thank you again. And so I text the guy back because I had his number to text. And I said, thank you for the message. I really appreciate it. I'm glad your beautiful Toyota is okay. And he said, he texted me back and said, thank you. So it was a wonderful exchange between two human beings that wouldn't have happened. He probably never even would have noticed it if I hadn't have left the note, but all, none of that would have happened if I hadn't have done the thing that I thought may cost me some money, but would, have, would ultimately feel better to do so. Just wanted to share that little story of uh, humanity with all of you. And um, I know you guys like your Talea updates. Lately, we've been playing a lot in our playroom. Our playroom is shaping up so nicely and it's a lot of fake food, <laughs> felt and wooden, mostly food. And we'll sit and there's a little four chair table and we'll sit there and she'll serve us. She's playing a lot with her dolls too. And last night, before he went to sleep, she just was on this like monologue kick with one, one of her dogs telling dolls telling the doll like feel your feelings and just teaching her like all the stuff she's heard me and my wife say. And it was so nice to see that and hear that coming from her. So I thought I'd share that little piece with you guys too. I know you love those stories. Poor Caliandra's on the other side of that door right now. Um, I think she wants to get in. Uh, and the other, there's nothing really to report um, streaming wise for you guys. So um, I'll keep looking for that next 
exciting show. I'm watching Curb Your Enthusiasm final season, and so that's fun. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching again. Take care, you guys. I'll see you in 48 hours. Tomorrow's a day off. Gonna go get the car service, groceries done, all that fun stuff. So I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye.